Damn Moskal here, and in this video we are going to talk about AdSense, uh, the URL channels, and then we're also going to be looking at simple hooks when it comes to actually where to display our advertisement on our website. This is the website we're going to be looking at, it's yourbadcreditcard.net, and what we want to do, um, we recently went into business together, this is our site, we're doing a uh, rev share with a partner but what we're going to do is put a AdSense ad and put this replace this advertisement with one that's on a URL channel so we can track the revenue that it earns and uh, we're also going to install this on our website not with the widgets which is typical and not with the editor but what we're going to use is the Genesis Simple Hooks this website is using the Genesis framework with the news theme, which I would strongly suggest and use on all my sites. But uh, this Hooks is a what I believe to be a more SEO friendly and uh, full website visitor. It seems to load faster when you have it installed in the Hooks, and I believe it makes your website slightly faster if you install your advertisements using the Hooks. This is installed with the widget right here. This isn't even an advertisement, it's an affiliate link. So anyways, let's go ahead and get this started. So this is our AdSense account, and what we are going to do is just name it. You're the only person that's going to see this. We're going to name it top because it's going at the top of our page, and we can look at our reports later to see how this specific ad work has been working, how much money this specific ad. So we'll put top header, and then we're going to put Joe in because he's our new business partner. We currently have a 728 by 90, and if you want to see the sizes, click on this button. It's going to open up a new window, and then you can just click on these, and it will show you what you're actually going to display. Like, that's what we have currently, the 728 by 90. Um, and you can also go over and pick different types of ones. But uh, what we're thinking, we were thinking we'd replace it with the bigger version, but I think we'll just keep it the same. The bigger version is a 970 by 90, and if I remember correctly, that just doesn't look quite right on this website. You need to uh, test some of these things out, and just I would recommend choosing something that fits and looks correct. Looks like it kind of uh, like it fits into your website. Like it doesn't look like you have done anything to put something there. Um, these backup ads. This is kind of for you could show different ads with a different network. This is more for the advanced user. We're not going to worry about it because we know that we always have ads showing. Uh, we're talking about bad credit and credit repair, which is a highly competitive industry. But here's the key. Here's our custom channels. And this is what we want to do. We want to pick that URL address because we are going to track all the ads on this URL address so we can share it with Joe. And if you add it to a custom channel it's a lot easier to see which websites are earning how much money if you have more than one website like myself so the down here is what your actual ads gonna look like this is kind of a preview of it at least the colors that is uh, you can use custom I personally have always just used the default it may be worth uh, I've heard that it's a good idea to make it similar to the color of your website um, maybe I think I tested around once it might be worth testing so the color and the color scheme uh, once you get that you get the code and then you copy it and what we're gonna do is just paste this code in so we have it in this ad installed in our simple hooks and that's probably gonna be the header so here we go it's right here this one and uh, on a side note if we just installed it, it would show up over here. It wouldn't be center with the website. So what you should do is go ahead and center it. We've already done that. If you're using this exact exact same uh, idea with your website, make sure you center it. Otherwise, it's going to show up on the right or the left. 
or rather it'll show up on the left. So we just replaced it. We want to hit Save Changes. Now, if you're using WordPress, the other thing you should do when you make any edits on your website is turn the cache off. The cache is kind of like a copy of your website. Um, if you don't turn the cache off, you probably won't be able to see your changes immediately. So let's we should see a blank space. There should be no ads coming up yet. It's going to take probably 15, roughly 15, 20 minutes before they start displaying ads. And that's just simple technology communicating with one another. Um, that's just the way it is. Google will show a relevant ad. Uh, it just it takes a few minutes and we're gonna leave our cache off until we start seeing advertisements. Um, I don't know if that the importance of that but anyways uh, as you can see here's some of the ad links we have and then we also have another advertisement down at the bottom of our page. Uh, AdSense is a really great company to work with. I strongly encourage you to work with AdSense if you have a lot of good content on your website. Um, just make sure you check out AdSense full terms and conditions. They do have some rules and regulations that you have to uh, abide by. And just to give you a quick look, this is we'll look at it a little bit more in this uh, in detail here in another upcoming video. But this is our Genesis thing uh, here. Let me go ahead and show you what our Genesis. So here's the hooks. These are the hooks. All the different options: WordPress, document header, content, post page. And then when you open it up, you can get a whole bunch of different places to put it to put whatever you want. It doesn't have to be an advertisement. It can be anything you want. For our example, we're looking at advertisements. But this is where it would show up on your page. This is with the hook guide and just looking at the action hooks. So ours is after the header. That's why our advertisement's showing up right there. But if we wanted to, we could obviously put it up there or put it anywhere we wanted. Along with these right here. Um, just so you know and are aware it is definitely worth experimenting and trying some few different positioning and spots for your websites or for your advertisements rather on your website and on a side note this is an affiliate marketing link we'll see how that does but this is kind of an easy guide to help with the placement if you're using hooks uh, you can also add it with widgets but it'll take probably 15 20 minutes before that ad starts showing up again and once it does then we're going to turn back our uh, turn our car uh, excuse me our cache back on um, the cache will really increase your website and if you're using a WordPress website make sure you use a cache uh, I use the WP super cache um, I think it's the W3 total cache is allegedly a good one too but the W three you saw how easy it was for us to turn it off and turn it on that's all we do turn it back on um, visit danmoskeluniversity.com for more tips and you can also grab a copy of our book how to create a website easy button available over at amazon and have a wonderful afternoon please comment below like this video and share it with your friends family and colleagues